It's no secret that water is dangerous, but you may be surprised to know about all of the unusual and mysterious events that take place in and around lakes. Not only do many people lose their lives in water, but there has been a handful of perplexing and supernatural occurrences by large bodies of water. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three mysterious haunted lakes. Lake Shawnee Amusement Park May Be Haunted Lake Shawnee Amusement Park was once a place where families, teenagers, and young adults would visit for a day of fun. Unfortunately, it's now abandoned and there has been a series of dark events that have taken place ever since. The park is located in West Virginia in the United States and has become known as one of the most haunted amusement parks in the world. Long before there was an amusement park, the land was used as a burial ground for the Shawnee tribe. Experts estimate that the land holds over 3,000 bodies, but those aren't the only people who have passed away at Lake Shawnee. In 1775, a family of white settlers built a home right atop the burial ground, which, for obvious reasons, upset the Shawnee people who saw the land as sacred. Devastated that the family was not respecting their land, they warned them and decided to attack in 1783. A group of tribesmen entered the home and attacked the youngest son who was working in the fields, then brutally attacked the daughter with a knife and finally kidnapped the eldest son and eventually set him alight. Upon coming home to find the family attacked and no longer alive, the white settlers gathered a group of settlers to get vengeance on the Shawnee people. The area was not touched for a while after the attack, until a man by the name of Snido purchased the land in the 1920s to build an amusement park. Whether he was aware of the land's history or not, he didn't seem bothered. By the 1920s, the park was up and running and people came, despite the tragic history of the land. However, slowly but surely, the history of the land made its way back to Lake Shawnee and children started passing away. The first was a young girl who was on a fast-moving swing that was hit by a truck driving by. Another fatal incident occurred in 1966 when a boy's arm got caught in the drainage pipe of the pond. He was considered missing for quite some time until they found his body over a week later in the water. Between the opening of the park and 1966, approximately six lives were lost. After the boy's passing in 1966, the park was closed and abandoned as the attractions and rides were left behind to rot. People continue to visit the park and speak of experiencing chilling sounds and spooky figures in the background of their photos. The swings are by far the most haunted part in the park. People report seeing a swing move on its own, as well as sighting a young girl in a pink dress that is stained with blood sit on the swing or stand nearby. The owner of the park spoke of the story of the young girl who passed away there and had mentioned that she was wearing a pink dress. He also claims to have seen her ghost many times for himself. The Ferris wheel is also considered a spooky site at the park where ghostly figures have appeared and vanished before one's eyes. The pond is even more mysterious and haunted, as people have seen the water move and shadowed figures emerge from below the surface. Many paranormal television shows have taken a liking to the story behind Lake Shawnee and the amusement park and have sent paranormal experts to uncover answers. Unfortunately, no one has been able to prove that ghosts haunt the park, but it's known by all that step foot on the land. Would you visit the park? Braley Pond, Virginia Next up is Braley Pond, which has been a popular campground in Virginia, USA. It's more specifically located in George Washington National Forest and has been known for its mysterious activity. Many have claimed that other campsites within the park are haunted as well, but Braley Pond is associated with chilling stories. Visitors describe the pond as tranquil and serene. At first, that is. The hauntings began after a horrific attack took place 
in 2003 when a local gang member attacked a 19-year-old boy before dumping his body in the water. A visitor also took their own life in the same spot in the park. Ever since, people have felt eerie energy and spirits at Brady Pond, but it doesn't stop there. Other encounters with spirits have taken place closer to the pond itself, where people have witnessed ghosts hovering above the water and heard children's voices in the distance. Many ghost hunters have made their way to the most haunted campsite in Virginia and have left fearing for their lives. One of the most unusual aspects and feelings visitors get when visiting this campsite and pond is a sudden burst of nausea and disorientation. This has happened many times to hikers with no previous information surrounding the hauntings at Brayley Pond. The pond specifically is truly haunting. People have reported a feeling of being watched, seen the water splash about whilst no one is in it, and some have experienced a strange calling to jump into the water. One paranormal researcher who visited in 2006 took their own life shortly after leaving us to wonder if it had something to do with Brayley Pond. Another paranormal researcher by the name of Shay Willis experienced extremely unusual activity whilst spending time at the campsite one evening. She had that nauseous feeling and saw activity in the water but also witnessed a green orb in the sky. She was there with another researcher who had a sudden feeling that something was watching them and was pulled into the water. As they made their way back to the truck, Willis felt tentacles on her and screamed for her partner to get them off, but there was nothing there. She continued to feel the tentacles and have vivid dreams about the experience for weeks afterwards. This leads us to question what is in the water. Are there spirits haunting the Brady Pond and campsite? Are they out to get people who are simply passing by? We may never know, but one thing is for sure. You certainly wouldn't want to be left there alone overnight. Sacco River, Maine Our last mysterious and haunted lake can be found in Maine, USA. The lake has apparently been cursed since the 1600s, dating back to a story about a native named Squando who was the chief of the Sacco tribe. He was taking a stroll down by the river one day with his newborn baby and wife in 1675 when they came across three drunken sailors from England. They took the baby and threw her into the river. The mother did her best to save her baby girl. She was able to reach the infant and bring her back to shore, but she passed away shortly after. Afterwards, the chief was so upset to have lost his daughter that he cast a curse upon the river, proclaiming that it would take three men each year. Locals are hesitant to go near the river due to knowing the history of this river and the curse it holds. While many people over the years have lost their lives in the river, could this simply be a coincidence or maybe the curse continues to take the lives of many? Some people claim to have seen the river monster which is sometimes referred to as the white monkey, referring to the human-like appearance. The most recent sighting was in 1970, so it's been a while since anyone has shed light on this tale. Since nothing noteworthy has happened in recent years at the Sacco River, does that mean it's no longer haunted? No one can be too sure. It may just be an old wives' tale for all we know. After exploring these three mysterious lakes, it's not easy to ignore the many stories and tragic loss of lives that have taken place at each spot. Would you go swimming or camping in these locations? But what do you make of these disturbing haunted lakes? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.